<laughs> How good did that feel? Yeah, it was great. I mean, it was our, our guys played their best game of football in the most important game of the year. And uh, that was great to see. It was great to see our guys go out there and play, you know, four quarters of football. When you said that the next step would be uh, not letting teams back into the game, did you sense that this might be the game where that would happen, or was that just a general? Yeah, I mean, I, I sensed it a little bit, you know, and I think our guys were just tired of this whole, like, whoa, play really good, and then, like, what happened? Like, how did that get so close? And uh, I think it's just a testament to the, to the guys saying, hey, we're going to come out and we're going to finish this thing, uh, this game. And uh, they came out and scored, ironically. And then uh, our guys battled back and, and uh, finished, finished, I thought, the second half pretty good, uh, especially getting some other guys in there. And we still, I thought, had success in some of those moments. Kenny, I know there's a lot more ahead for this program, but what does it mean to be able to cap off at least the regular season portion of this group? Yeah, it's, it's huge. I mean, it's like we said, it's the bragging rights. I mean, I got sent probably four or five different text messages from buddies driving down here to watch the game, and in their car are ASU and U of A fans, right? Because that's how close this rivalry is. It's in your own backyard. And uh, that's why it means so much, because it's, it's playing somebody that you live every day next to. And you're either going to hear them say something about the game, or you get to say something about the game for uh, a year straight. So absolutely incredible accomplishment by our guys to go from what we did last year. I can't remember the score, like 54-21, is that right? Close to what we did this year is one of the most, it, it's remarkable the turnaround uh, that those guys and that leadership and that group has been able to do in one year. And uh, it's a special group and we should all cherish it. What about the fact that you're leaving here literally not knowing if you're in this Big 12 title game? Like I told our guys, we're gonna play another game. It's all we can control. Like, we have all, I know, obviously I told him what the scenarios, I found out the scenarios. <laughs> <laughs> I do know that now. I had Jason Cervecco go look at the scenarios and if one of three teams win, which TCU I guess had a 10 point lead the last I checked, uh, then we'll be in the big, uh, the big 12 title game. I don't know who we would play in that scenario. I haven't looked at that. I just know we'll be in it. Uh, but I, I'm excited for what's next and, and what can become in this program. Like I said, this is year two. Uh, you know, we were built to continue to, to get better, and hopefully that continues to happen, and we continue to get better. Are we better than I anticipated? Yeah, but hopefully we can continue to build and build and build and create something sustainable. If you were going to give an honest answer to someone three, four months ago who said that you were going to win 10 games this year, um, what would you have said at the time? I said, I don't know. <laughs> would you I believe that? I don't know if anybody would have asked me that question, to be honest. Like, I don't think that's a real question because I don't think one person would have ever asked it. So I have no clue what I would have said to that question. If somebody would have said seven, I would have said, man, we would have played. Everyone, we won some close games, right? But these guys are special. These guys, we never focused on the outside noise. We never focused on everybody saying we're good now. We've never focused on when people said we were bad. We, we, we didn't let all that stuff blind us from what we believe we can accomplish. And... That, that's unique that you get a, a group of 18 to 22 year olds, 60 guys that are new and they're wired in a way where all they want to do is get better and compete and be the best version of themselves. And uh, that's, that's not normal. And people should really embrace this season because like I said earlier, I don't know if I'll ever have in my career here a season where we go over expectations like this. I hope I never do because it means that we were somewhere we regressed as a program. This should be the biggest, you know, wins over projection that I, that we ever have in this program for hopefully as long as I'm here. What about the contribution of a guy like Tyson Brown? And Scat, you know, leaving, you're going to need another guy. Yeah, that was huge. Uh, obviously, I think he averaged 11 yards a carry tonight, uh, 12 and a half. That's unbelievable, right? Averaging as an offense right there, 11, 12 and a half and 8.4 by Scat. Talk about offensive line, um, moving people, wide receivers, blocking on the perimeter. I mean, I don't know if you guys watched, our, our, everybody blocks, everybody blocks. And I think that's an identity thing that's uh, special that the team is really buying into. And how and this, is, can, this team like really still surprise you? Or do you want them to still surprise you? They still surprise me. Every single day they surprise me. I mean, they're, they're just a unique, goofy, you know, a group of misfits that somehow came together and are accomplishing yeah, things that are special. <laughs> <laughs> Get harassed out here, dude. <laughs> Coach, how, how is Jordan? Coach, how's Jordan and Tyson doing? And how far did that connection come today? You know, how far yeah, has that connection come with him and Sam? Huge connection. <laughs>
Uh, or you can put this over here. But, oh, okay. Uh, the connection is unbelievable between those guys. We'll see how he. Uh, we'll find out in the morning tonight uh, for him. But uh, you know, he he came back out on the field. First thing he said was, "Dang, I missed Derek's play." And uh, that that's that's the, our team in a nutshell. What does this team kind of mean to you, Kenny? Just the way the guys have bought in and the turnaround and what you guys have been able to accomplish. Uh, <laughs> you may have to answer. Yeah. Because uh, you know me. Yeah, fact. Uh, <laughs> I got him. Um, man, it's just crazy, like, just to see, like, where we came from January, like, just a center. Like, me, all of three of us, you know, having those conversations about, you know, exactly where we are. But... You know, we didn't. We never looked ahead. You know, we never let the outside people, you know, influence us. We never let them, you know, get in our heads thinking that we can't do something. We can you know? We knew what we could do in the building. You know, and it was just up to us to believe in the building. So, uh, it's just a blessing. It's really just a blessing. I'm honored to be sitting here next to him, next to this guy. You know, play on this team. Obviously, with my story last year. You know, not playing, like coming back, putting all that passion into the off season, fall camp, spring ball. You know, to get where we are now, like. Just a blessing. Can't, can't put any words on it. Really can't put any words on it. Cam, um, I don't know if you heard or saw that Saban called you his favorite player in college football. What does that mean to you? Uh, it means a lot, but I want to be this guy's favorite player. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, that's that's awesome. Great, great coach. You know, he's one of the best of all time, and it's awesome, you know. But I'm here. I'm in the present. I'm ready to win a Big 12 championship, and I'm here for this coach. Cam, yes. you get to carry that territorial cup over to the ASU fans. How much that? Outside of it was awesome, you know, because get back sucks when you when you know what I mean. And yeah. uh, we 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 planned that all year, you know. That was our cup. Um, that cup's gonna stay in Phoenix for a long time. Uh, I don't think he ever plans on getting rid of it. So um, we just might as well write ASU on that one for now. <laughs> Kenny, as someone who grew up watching the, these games every year, what did it mean to you personally to get your first win in it? Yeah, it was pretty cool, but it was more about the guys. Like, the, the energy, it's not about me. These guys are a special group. I mean, they're a special group. I mean, he tried to give me the cup. I'm like, no, that's yours. <laughs> right? I haven't even touched it yet, right? Because, I mean, people are trying to, like, hand it to me and go to you. I'm like, it's not mine. It's theirs, and they burned it. Coach, uh, what went into the uh, decision to put Trenton in? When was when did you make that decision? Was it before it spurred the moment or, you know, kind of before? And just I, what did it mean to get Yeah, there? I think everybody in here think, understands what Trenton means to the program. So I think that was a com I mean, common sense. Like, that dude's done so much for this program, that family. So uh, let's get him an opportunity to go out and uh, throw a catch to his brother. Uh, and, you know, a completion in college football, brother brother, is rare. And uh, we got that accomplished tonight, him being from Tucson, having done that here. Uh, it's a pretty special moment. Cam, you stayed up for a long time talking to fans, signing the autographs, taking selfies. Just walk us through your mindset, what you're trying to accomplish there. That's why I play football, to make people happy. Um, I play to win football games and put smiles on people's faces. Um, I do it because my teammates have my back, and there's nothing better than a brotherhood that football brings to your life. Um, connections, I'll have these connections for the rest of my life until I'm passed away and dead. And I'll know these people until all of us are dead. Um, and that's that's what's so special about this. You can make five hundred million dollars, um, but the connections are what's deep, and, the, and you know, in the brotherhood and everything that you build in those in between the lines, um, outside of the money and everything else. Yeah, both Cam and X, if you were told back in August the personal growth that you made with everything that happened last season, if you were told that you were going to win ten games and potentially play for a conference championship, what would you have said if you were asked that question back in August? I would say, damn right. <laughs> I mean, we we knew coming out of the summer, you know, like, the impact, like, like whole season. Like, uh, you know, everybody sees this, but they don't see the hard work that we put in. You know, the uncomfortable conversations that we had, you know, with each other. You know, y'all y'all know how hot it is in AZ. Like, imagine running, running, getting ready for the season. You know, whole bunch, 150 guys screaming at each other. You know, trying to win, like actually trying to get better. And that's the thing about this team. Everybody on this team cares for coaches all the way down to players, training staff, everybody cares. Like everybody cares about each other. Everybody cares about winning. We don't care, you know, about what the outside world says about us, you know. We know what the work we put in, you know, and then Saturdays, you know, that's our day to, you know, come out and show the world. So next going from like you said last year, I mean, getting the team ready, helping them prep, doing everything you could but to be on the field obviously this year, make the impact you did, cap it off, obviously this right where the game was means uh it means a lot. Um I would say I've grown a lot as a person, you know. Um, 
going through that, you know, watching him, you know, watching this game last year, like not being able to uh, make an impact. But um, I poured everything I had into this team, you know, off season, season fall camp, every day, like, every day I walk in the building. You know, everybody know me. I scream and yell on the video, stuff like that, but it's because I really care. Like, I really care about these two dudes sitting next to me. I care about everybody that, you know, that rips, you know, that fits for it. You know, they have Sunday on there, you know. So uh, it just means a lot, you know, it means a lot. But, you know, job's not done yet. Job's not done. You know, still, still got more work to do. You know, we still, we still not satisfied. So, how cool Thanks, is it? Oh, last question. How cool is it to see Jacob plant the pitchfork in the A at the end? I didn't know that happened, but that's awesome. <laughs> um, go Devin. That dude, that dude played his butt off all game, and he, he deserves it. I think that's fair.